All right, guys, Homestead Know How, life is good. Doing something a little different today. We are working on a 2000 Dodge Intrepid 2.7 liter V6. Uh, so what we're doing is we're having problems with it dying and having problems with it uh, starting. We've run some code test on it and we've changed a cool pack because uh, it was showing misfire cylinder three. So we've changed that. Still having the issue. So uh, some things lead to a couple different things on this car because it's kind of a mess to begin with. But camshaft position sensor, crankshaft position sensor, typically uh, recommend that you change both of them at the same time. And also, uh, it does have a newer battery in it, but we're going to check that as well. And actually already... And checking that, I found that this 11 millimeter bolt was a little loose. The terminals were dirty. Uh, so we've cleaned that up. We've got the battery over here. And we've cleaned the terminal post up. The positive and the negative sides. Here's a date for the battery. So we're going to take this. We're going to set it over here. We're going to hook it up to our charger and we're going to set this to AGM. We're going to put it on trickle charge, two amp, and then we're going to hook our battery up. Now, this charger does not come on until the battery is connected. All right. Now, okay, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but all right, so it's on. We think, I think we just got this actually. We just did. Okay, now I'm not sure why this is showing. I think my, I think the gauge is inaccurate on this because the battery is dead. So we're going to charge it. In the meantime, so what I've done so far is I jacked the car up, made sure I put jack stands under it, safety first for this. I've got a 19 millimeter socket for the lug nuts. Then you have to take this panel off and for that you've got these screws around it and that uses a quarter inch socket and then your battery sets in here. Now some of the stuff was already off on this car so I didn't have to unbolt some stuff and some of the bolts were missing so I can't tell you what they are but I had to take the air box out. I just had to pull it out because it had already been unbolted just kind of sitting in there. Uh, I did take this one bolt out which goes let me get some light down here for you all right let's see if i can get some light all right it bolts right down here with that right there that hole all right so now for those so for the battery and to get that off, it's kind of crazy because they use a 13 millimeter, an 11 millimeter, which is for this bolt right here, and a 10 millimeter for the positive terminal. All right, so that's where we're at at this point. Uh, we're gonna move on to the camshaft and the crankshaft position sensors, which one is located down in here, and then one is located Right uh -uh. That's here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's see if I can get that to show. All right, see this. Hold that light right there, son. All right. So you see the stud sticking out right here. That holds the wiring harness. Sorry for the sad video. And then this, you have to take this clip off and your, <clears throat> your sensor's right here. Uh, something else that I had to do, I had to use a screwdriver, just a common or flathead as most people call them, to get the negative terminal off. And then I used a battery terminal brush to clean the terminals. You can buy these at any of your parts stores. They're pretty. So this is for the actual terminals itself. And then if you pull it apart, 
This is so you can clean the inside of the terminal cables. So we got all that cleaned up and we're going to charge that while we're working on the camshaft and crankshaft position sensor. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I had good connectivity with the battery and stuff as well. Unhook the battery before you mess with electrical components because you can fry the brain on the car. So, uh, so we're going to move on to the next. Alright guys, so I forgot to mention this is the camshaft sensor up here. And then down here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Down here is the crankshaft position sensor. Alright guys, so we took the camshaft position sensor out. It goes right here, and on this wiring harness, there might be a red tab that you'll just have to kind of pull out with a pick, and then on the face of it, which it goes like this, you're going to press the tab and pull backwards this way to get it out, and then there's one bolt that holds it out, and this is the one that holds the wiring harness away from the pulleys and stuff. All right, so once you get it out, it looks like this. Now it does have, or should have, which I don't know if this one actually has. Should have an O-ring on it. I'm gonna use some of the old oil that's on this to lubricate the other O-ring. So when I put it back in, I can turn it and put it in. Now I'm gonna check and see if I can find the O-ring. O-ring, I keep saying O-ring. See if I can find an O-ring down here on this because it should really have one because this is an old okay. portion of the motor. Okay, so we're gonna double check, make sure the camshaft position sensor is the correct one. You can look inside of it here, <laughs> here, and on this one you can see the O-ring. It's nice and blue. On the O one I think it's just discolored and black. I mean you can kind of see it right there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take and get a little bit of the oil off of this and just kind of rub it around like so. All right. So, now we'll just repeat the reverse process and I'm gonna have my son hold the phone. You get your finger in the way. All right, here, let me turn the flash off because it's, sorry guys. Okay, let me turn this. I think we're doing that. Okay. Either that or something else. So now this is gonna go where we are like the back up. You got it too close. It's this is confusing. All right, so this is gonna be. Can you see this? Mhm. Mm it's gonna end up like this. So you're gonna put it in, just kind of work it back and forth like so. Okay. And it might be hard for you to see it while I'm actually doing it, but don't come in too close because you'll blur the video. All right, so I'm just going to do like so. Dang, I found something else. Oh, it was over here. Just kind of work it. Just kind of work it like that. All right, then you want to get the bolt. Get it high and everything up. So you probably can't see a whole lot as far as the video goes when I'm doing this part, but. The lighting is horrible. Should I, shouldn't I turn on right, like the light? So I'm turn it. No, back it up some. You got it too close. You're making it blurry. Oh, I am. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. So now I'm just going to take my ratchet. Ah, uh, there it is, right ratchet. there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And you don't want to over crank this thing. Because you can break it. <clears throat> Sorry for the kid noise in the background. <laughs> but you do want to, you know, you want to make sure you get it tightened down. <laughs> there, over there. They're both saying sorry. Seems like it'll take forever. But it's not. Alright, we're just gonna tighten it up. Oops. Oh, 
that like so. Then we'll get our wire. Now you want to make sure you want to make sure that you put the other here. Hold this, please. You want to make sure. Sorry. Okay, you want to make sure that when you plug it back up, you get your wires. It's a very tight spot. Okay, so you want to make sure you put this back on here to keep the wiring harness out of the pulleys and the belt and stuff. All right, and then you want to take your harness, make sure it's the right direction, and then plug it back in, and that part will be done. All right, guys, so now we're going to change the crankshaft position sensor. And I've got the light on the phone, so if it kind of hazes a little bit, sorry. All right, so if you follow the cross member, or the frame, sorry, straight back from the front, come straight back, right at the transmission, transmission, sorry. You can reach up, and then right up behind the exhaust, you can see it right here. And I've already unplugged it, or I haven't unplugged it, sorry. Um, I'm having issues with the plug, so I'm gonna try to unbolt it See if I can get it up to the top. I think I can. But it's right here. It's a 10 millimeter. So it's kind of like up near the transmission bell housing, which is typical for these. So we're going to take this out and go from there. All right, guys. So I've got the old one out, and the clip was actually broke. Uh, the little push button pedal on it was broke. Um, it looks like somebody just slid it back in there before, so... That's why I was having problems getting it out. It wasn't really depressing anything. So here's the old one. And actually from the inside, it's just pretty nasty itself. Uh, also with this one, it's got the O-ring as well. Or, uh, actually, sorry, this one doesn't have an O-ring. I misspoke. Um, but you want to kind of turn it and work it a little bit. You don't want to break it off in there. So we're going to put this one back in in reverse order. I'm going to try to do this and hold my phone. Or you could do the phone to me. I'm going to have him hold it straight. Let me see if I can. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Oops. Sorry, I thought you were talking about Caden and Alright, let's see here. Let me see where I'm at. So I'm, just, I'm trying to see if I can get a good... Video? Okay, so right here Perfect. is where it's going. I can actually hold it. All right, so right here, and then the bolt hole's right here. So we're gonna oh, wait a second. I said the wrong one. I did. I grab the wrong one because there's two boxes. No, we already put the other one in. Sorry, that's not the hole. It's actually back here. I was going by feel. I was like, wait a minute, this is not fitting. All right, so I'll put it in the hole. All right, it's in. And then... Don't know where to go my bolt. Was it in that uh, magnetic bowl? No. Oh, I think I see it. Where's it at? Stop. Stop moving. That's not the bolt. It's right here. Okay. It's, this is so magnetic. We'll take, we'll take our 10 millimeter. It is magnetic. You're correct. Right. Well, this you're done also. by feel. Give it to me. Also, this is a marching thing on. Alright, so. Find our hole. Dad, I found something with a bunch of grease on it. Yeah, it's typical for. Yes, sir. Type of car like this. Okay. Uh, putting it so and then of course you'll put your harness back on and this like is a so. video on to teach you how to fix your car if you're now, the problem with this harness being like that 
is it might be causing it to get bad connection. So really, it would be best if that harness could be cut and a new one wired in. What we might try to do is to make it a little better, just to get a little bit of electrical tape around it. I'm tighten it back down, being careful not to break it. Don't break it. Let me see if I can get it in here. Be careful. All right, there you go. You don't want to break it. You break it. You can see the exhaust is right there. I'm right behind it, right at the top of the transmission. I don't know if I can get that back on my left hand or not. It's kind of in an odd spot. Use my hands, I'll do it. Yeah, well, I'm gonna readjust my. Thing about. Here, let me do it. I'll probably do it. Adjust my camera here. Sorry, it's kind of a booger of a spot to get in there. All right. All right, so that should be tight. Right. Don't fight, guys. All right, so we got that done. Okay, so you could possibly do this from the top. But you gotta take your air box and stuff out to get out of the way. The only reason I've done that on this one was because of the battery. But it's right here. Let's see this this wire, this wire and harness. Uh, sorry, ground tape. Anyways, it's right there. Uh, so now we're just going to reverse the process, put everything back together. So basically you need... Here, what size is on that socket right there? Let me see. Um, where is it? One slash two. So it's a one half. So you need a half inch socket for the crankshaft position sensor. Ew, this is disgusting. You thing. need... Or sorry, a one a half inch socket for the camshaft position sensor, which is up here. We need a ten millimeter for the crankshaft position sensor, which is down here. We got to it from the under the car. You need a nineteen to take the wheel off, a quarter inch to take the screws off from out of the panel to get to the battery, an eleven millimeter to tighten this up, ten millimeter for this, and I think it was a thirteen for the negative terminal. Okay, so we're just going to reverse the process, put it back together. Um, I don't think you all need to do need me to go through that to figure that out. So we're going to leave it at that. Sorry about the little bit shoddy video. It's kind of hard spots to get into using a cell phone to video and use light. Um, but we hope you all got something out of it. Again, this is a 2000 Dodge Intrepid 2.7 liter V6. Uh, Taking the battery out, camshaft position sensor, which is up top, crankshaft position sensor, which is down bottom behind the manifold. And of course, we're going to clean the battery up, the terminals and all that to get good connection. Homestead know-how, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. More videos coming to you. Hopefully one day we'll have better video equipment. Maybe. Y'all have a blessed day.